Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to show you guys another cool mod today, and this mod is World Downloader for Minecraft 1.1. What this mod does is you could go to anybody's server, it doesn't matter whose server, and you could download their world into your single player save. Let me go ahead and show you how to do this. Go to multiplayer, when you install this mod, you go to everybody's server, I don't care, you just go to anybody's server, you go to my server, you could go to Bashcraft server, you could even go to this guy's server. Anyways, let's go to Bashcraft server. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to log in. So if you notice, I'm in the server with a lot of people inside it. And um, if you wanted the world, what you do is you install this mod. And what you do is you could just like look around, do whatever you like, walk around. What you do is press escape and you go here to download this world. You could download anybody's world from a server straight from a button just like this. Download the world. Everywhere you go, it's going to pretty much download it. So you notice I'm walking over here and they have a lot of statues over here. That's pretty awesome. And it's going to download into my single player save so I can fly up there. And I don't know because I can't fly right now. You could fly in single player. So the world will be downloading everywhere you explore. So make sure you explore around anybody's server. You just go around everywhere and you pretty much have the full map. Alright, so I think this is enough. I'm going to go ahead and save and quit. But before you do that, stop the download. It's going to say stop download and it's going to say saving a lot of stuff. Disconnect. Go to single player. And there you go. There's the server that you were just in. Go into there. It's going to generate the world. There you go. Now you're in single player. And if you have too many items, you could change your game mode. Earlier, I wasn't able to do this. Of course, they're going to have their server protected. If you notice, the heads are up there. So that's basically it. Just go to anybody's server. I'm going to save and quit. Go to multiplayer. Go to my server. And let's go ahead and check around. If you notice, there's a house right here. And if I wanted that house somehow, I could just download the world. And I'm going to be walking around just a little bit. I don't have to be going that far just for a house. Just press escape. Stop the download. And save and quit. Go into single player go into the world you want and um there you go so there's the house that you just saw all right so that's basically it you could just go to other people's servers download the world and enjoy it in single player have a blast destroy everything i'm not sure what you like to do a bucket plugin will not stop uh this mod from downloading a world save anyways guys let's go ahead and see on how to install this mod it's not that hard it's really easy Alright guys, so let's go ahead and install this mod. This mod is really easy, but before I install this mod, the first thing I'm going to want to do, of course, before installing any mods is to go here to Options and Force Update My Game. The reason why I'm going to Force Update My Game is because I have mods currently installed. If you guys have mods currently installed, I always recommend to back them up because you're never too sure if World Downloader is compatible with any of your mods. If they're not compatible with any of your mods, you will get a black screen. Anyways, Force Update and Log In. To prevent a black screen, back up your mods if it's necessary. Here is the download, World Downloader, links in the description. Download it, drag it here to the desktop in which you can see it better, and leave it here. Let's go ahead and install this mod. I'm going to go here to start, search your program file, I'm going to type in percent, app, data, percent, and for Windows XP users, you should see here run, and you run percent, data, percent, and it should take you up here to the roaming folder. So click on that roaming folder and you should see dot minecraft at the very top. You're going to go into your dot minecraft folder. You're going to see bin, resources, save, and everything else. Go into your bin folder. Before you open up your minecraft.jar that's located in your bin folder, you have to make sure you have your minecraft game closed. Here's my minecraft game that I just force updated. You have to exit off your minecraft game. Now what you're going to do is right click your minecraft.jar that's located in your bin folder, open with WinRAW or any 7-zip opener. If you don't have WinRAW, links in the description. Open that up and move it aside. Alright, so now you're going to delete MetaInf. Really simple. You have to delete MetaInf in your minecraft.jar. Look at MetaInf, delete, press the delete key, say yes, and delete it. Make sure you delete MetaInf. If you don't delete MetaInf, you will get a black screen. Open up World Downloader, move it aside. Really simple. Highlight the files from World Downloader. Simply drag it into the Minecraft.jar side and replace press OK. You are done. That's it. You just install the mod. Really simple. Let's go into multiplayer. Double check if it worked. Make sure you delete meta imp. That's the main thing. Just delete meta imp and the and the mod will work. Let's go to this guy's server and see what's up. Um, now I'm inside. And if you notice, here's my house that I was like trying to play on this guy's uh, server. But anyways, let's go ahead and like go to his spawn slash spawn. And yep, here I am. So let's say I wanted this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press escape and download the world. There you go. Just wait a little bit. And if you notice in the chat, it will say start, uh, start a download and stuff. You could just chill here or you can explore the whole world to download his whole map if you like. Anyways, once you're done, press escape, stop the download, 
and now you're going to disconnect go into single player and now go into the server now go into the world that you just downloaded and there you go and here I am so yeah I just downloaded his world and it looks pretty awesome there's just some random flying thing over there anyways guys that's basically it hopefully you guys will enjoy this mod this mod is really awesome I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys later thank you